is not an ordinary composer see to be a composer you may be a master of particularly one form of music but mike has really worked hard in understanding indian music african music and many other forms of music in his probably experience of 4 or 5 decades of being a musician composer the first time i met him it was quite astonishing because he started talking to us indian music language Mm -hmm. He would use the word Korvai. He would oh. use the way Muktayam. <laughs> he will say Melakarta. And then I'm like, Mike, how do you know about all this? <laughs> he said, I do research. Mm -hmm. I keep listening to music. I have worked with many Indian musicians. I worked with. I have to work with Srinivas. So he trans. He showed me a book where the Melakarta system he has written in Western music and has made. Wow. Such is his interest. He has spent years in Africa trying to understand harmonies and African music and their scales, such intricate. Africa, they have the best musicians in the world. Yeah. You know, most of the music has come from there. Yes. So, uh, harmony comes from Africa, you know. Yes. Harmony comes from Africa. So. Mike was a man who knew everything and the way Swami chose him was amazing and Swami says love all serve all, help ever hurt never. Swami wants all cultures to come together. In Puttaparthi if you see, you don't see, if you just take Indians you will have a northeastern phase, you will have a south Indian phase, you will have a, a UP phase, you will have a Kashmiri. You know this, you take one square meter in Darshan hall, yeah. you cannot see <laughs> one community. Yes. And you take 10 square meters, you cross boundaries yes. and you see the whole hall, you see yes. the world. Yeah. That was Swami. Why don't you take each individual as a music note, <laughs> a music style? Yes. That was I Symphony. Wow. Every line was from one place. Yes. Have, so he had this vision. Baba has expressed himself as all as one and one as all. Shouldn't we do something which has everything? I was there, I was traveling with him. All this were in the aircraft and in the mm. hotel and you know. Wow. And then he slowly said, okay, I'm going to have Indian rhythm, I'm going to have Indian music, I'm going to bring this African singer. Wow. He said, I'm I feel that this singer from desert has to come and sing Allah. Because I didn't know Puttaparthi will accept Allah and I see, you know, Islam in the museum, I see Islamic scriptures in Puttaparthi walls. So what do you feel about bringing this African singer who will come and sing Allah? Wow. And we have an Indian singer singing Sai. So his vision was, you know, he was, it was like, you know, he was ignited. So to me, it was so humbling because we all read books, yes. we all go to Balvikas. Somebody has to feed it into us. Yes. But if Swami wills, 
it starts to it's like a bomb it's like <laughs> i mean the energy is huge spiritual volcano it is <laughs> yes and i saw that in mike it mm. started coming everything mm. started coming mm. and i would always call mr srinivasan and tell him sir this is what had happened he'll be like very good very good talk to artist then he said coming to the music then he said uh, shravanam i need for five movements five indian soloists mm-hmm.